there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today because I'm finally going to get to throw away some of my empties. And I had two huge travel bags full of empties. And I thought I only had one because that was what was in my closet. And I thought, gosh, maybe I had some more. And I came in the makeup room and there's another one sitting here that is huge and filled to bursting with my empties. And I love empties videos because in these videos you get to see exactly what the YouTuber really uses and uses up. And so that's what you're going to see in my video. And first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging for us 60 plus beauties, or if you're 30 or 40 plus and want to know how to look pretty good when you get to your 50s and 60s and 70s, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell and or share this video with a friend. Okay, let me get into this. And I will preface this by saying that my lips look a little weird because I just kind of got them topped off yesterday. And so supposedly they swell up the first and second day and then they kind of gradually subside over two weeks. So I feel like my lips are kind of flapping in the wind. Got a little bit of a ducky thing going, but I hope they go down a little bit. My husband did not notice it though, which I was really happy about. I wasn't sure whether I should really do it, but I did decide to go ahead and do the lips because I was in my esthetician's office getting my Botox around my eyes in the Marlboro Man area. I had not actually had Botox put in the crow's feet areas the last time. It's probably been nine months since I've had anything there. And the lines there had gotten really, really deep. I just got my forehead done maybe about two months ago. And I wasn't really thinking that Botox in the crow's feet areas really worked all that well. But after not having them done, I realized they look just terrible. So I'm going to be making a video coming up with the title something like, Does Botox on Crow's Feet Really Work? And so I'll show you my before and after pictures and we can decide together if that little extra $150 there is really worth it. Okay, let's get into my empties. The first is niacinamide. And I did an anti-aging video where I was going to have my Horvath clock age determined and take that as a baseline and then start using this niacinamide. And I started this about eight months ago. People keep saying that I look like I may be aging backwards, you know, to a certain extent. And sometimes I wonder why, and I wonder if it isn't this niacinamide. And I wish I could have done a follow-up to that anti-aging video because I really went through this phase where I studied the, the anti-aging supplements and this is a great one. But what happened is when I got the Horvath clock test done, and that is a test where you give them your saliva, mail it off to like Hong Kong, and then they tell you how old you actually are from a body standpoint, not your chronological age, because chronologically I'm 63. Well, I was going to use that as a baseline. Well, it came back that I was 27 years old. And before you get all excited and say, oh, well, maybe you're younger than you think, my husband, who is also in his 60s, he tested it like 35. So that company said, hey, there must have been a mistake. Let's do it again. We've never had this happen. That's what they said. Well, unfortunately, when it came back, I was 27 again, and my husband was maybe a few years off his mid-30s, but he was right there too. So I realized I could not do the video the way I'd intended to where I supposedly got my body age, maybe it was 60, and then hopefully I would take this and over months show you how it had hopefully decreased. My age had decreased biologically. But unfortunately, that could not happen. However, I really do think that maybe this is doing something. And if you're interested in taking an anti-aging supplement, this is a very inexpensive one. And this Now brand is a great brand. I think this may be 6 or $7 for like 500 milligrams, 100 capsules. So it lasts a good long time because I just take one a day. Okay, another thing that I think really might be helping with my skin is these Science Research Collagen Peptides. And here it is. Here's the big one that I normally order. And here is the, the size that I order when this one is out of stock, which it is out of stock quite a lot. This brand replaces this brand that I had before, which is actually more expensive. And I use this, I think just this one. I didn't find any difference with it. And you know, it seemed like any other collagen, but actually this collagen was recommended very highly on a website that I love. It's Brad, oh my gosh, what's your name, Brad? I can't remember. 
Brad Stanfield, I think that's it, Brad Stanfield. And he actually does lots and lots of research and follows the research to determine what supplements we should take and that kind of thing. And he did all the research on supplements and he felt like this was the best one because it has collagen type one and three here and they're hydrolyzed, which means the collagen long chain molecules or whatever are cut down to where our body can assimilate them. And there is really not that much research about collagen and skin. However, a lot of people are taking it and I really do think this could be helping my skin and or nails. Okay, I had a few actual skincare empties. The first was this SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. And this thing I think is about $180 and it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And I use this, in fact, I think this may be my second bottle because they sent it to me. And quite honestly, I really couldn't tell any difference at all using this, but I absolutely love this one. And I have a video about this Eva Natural Skin Firming Serum. And this is a vitamin C serum. I actually did a video about it. I guess I just mentioned that, but it is linked below the video here. And I love this. It has niacinamide in it, which is good for getting rid of brown spots. It has rosehip seed oil in it. It has hyaluronic acid, which is a nice moisturizer. It has Matrixyl 3000, which firms the skin, and it has plant stem cells. And anyway, I absolutely love this vitamin C, and I feel like it does kind of bleach out the brown spots on my skin. Absolutely love this one. I've already replaced it, and I plan to keep on using it. Okay, if you have large pores, I think this is a wonderful product. And this is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Correcting Serum. And this is the third bottle I have gone through on this. And I have very large pores. I had oily skin pretty much my whole life. My last pimple was probably when I was on YouTube, probably around age 60, I had my last pimple because I had acne from about 16 on. I fought it my whole life. I kept waiting for my oily skin to end and it never did, which I guess is good at this age. But anyway, as a result of my skin pumping out all that oil all those years, I have very, very large pores. And I don't know if you can see them. In fact, I hope not because I have this on and this is a Clinique product. And quite honestly, I'm not really sure how it works. There's another Clinique similar product that supposedly is just for the cosmetic kind of a primer look to mat out your pores. But this one supposedly produces results over about two weeks. And I plan to keep using it because I think that it does seem to blur out my pores. You can still see them, but it does improve them quite a bit. Okay, these next two products I've done a video on as well, and they're both Revitalash products, and this one is the Revitalash Cosmetics Advanced Eyelash Conditioner, and my eyelashes are very long, and I think this works extremely well. It's a little bit pricey. It's, I think, around $140, $150, somewhere in there, but this is the large vial, and it lasted me six months. My first go-round of this lasted me six months, and this is my second one, or at least in the bathroom, there's my second one. But I really do think it really makes your lashes thicken over time. And you do have to wait. This came on slower than maybe some of the other lash serums I've used in the past, but once it started coming on at maybe the two, two and a half month point, I really got thicker, thicker, thicker lashes, and they're very long. In fact, I have one so long over here, I have to cut it off. It keeps coming on too strong, I think. Absolutely love this, and I'll link it below. And then this is the Revita Brow Advanced Brow Serum, and this is really nice, and I love the little applicator here. It's just a little doe foot, and you just spread it on, especially where your brows are thin. I use it especially on my tails and also on the inside of each brow because I, I, seem to be, <laughs> I seem to be receding there, like I'm getting receding brows. My brows are going back from the middle. But I really do think that this works beautifully. And again, I'll link that below. Okay, now I have a few makeup empties and I really rarely go through makeup items. I have a ton of them in there. But this is my all-time favorite foundation. It's a drugstore foundation. It's very reasonable. I think it's $10 or under. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. It has SPF, I think, of 20, yes. And it is in the color 40 Nude, and that's a really good match color. In the summer, recently, I've had to use a little more bronzer all over my face because it is a little bit light. It's perfect for me in winter, but it is a good color. Absolutely love this. The name is Healthy Skin, and I really think of any foundation, it really does just blur out the look of my pores. 
It just evens out any skin discolorations I have, and it really does give me the look of healthy skin. And I will have to say, here's another empty, and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I use this right along with my foundation. And I will say, these are the BK Beauty brushes, and I absolutely love these brushes. And these are definitely not an empty. I plan to keep on using these. But I'm showing you them because she has an absolutely fabulous makeup application brush, a foundation brush, and this is the BK Beauty 101. And so what I do is I take this brush and I spray this, whoa, there's a little bit left in there, about four or five spritzes, maybe four spritzes, and then I just dab the foundation all over my face and then I use this to blend in my foundation and it blends just absolutely beautifully. Look at those really tight little bristles. It probably has two or three or 5,000 little tiny, tiny bristles. They feel absolutely like velvet all over your skin. And I have done videos in the past about makeup brushes that I truly loved for foundation application, and this has replaced all of them. This is a fabulous brush. Okay, another empty I have is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And I used to wear the Tarte Shape Tape, which was more expensive than this, but this Milani concealer is absolutely fabulous and I wear it in the color, what is it? The color Light Natural. And again, I use one of these BK Beauty brushes, and this is the whole set here. And if you are in need of great makeup brushes, this set is wonderful. But this is the little brush that I use under my eyes to deal with my concealer. Either that or the set comes with a little makeup sponge, and I sometimes use that. But basically, I just dab a few little dabs of that Milani Conceal and Perfect and then I just spray this again with a little bit of that Urban Decay setting spray, maybe one spritz, and then I just very easily smooth that out. I also put some concealer here, here, and down here, but this is a wonderful brush and that Milani Conceal and Perfect. If you haven't tried it yet, it's reasonable in price and I would give it a try. Okay, here is one of my favorite brow products and I have been using this, I don't know, this is probably my fourth or fifth one, this is the Pure, what is it called? I can't, oh, Arch Nemesis Brow Pencil. And there it is, and I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see that, because it's pretty much gone, but it's a little triangular tip, and it's very, very easy to do. I don't like to spend a lot of time on my brows, and I know I probably should, because it is one of my weaker areas. But anyway, I just darken in the brows there, fill in any holes. Certainly, I use a little bit on the tail back here, and I do the same on this side as well. And again, I bring my brows in a little bit because they have been receding. But this is a fabulous brow pencil. It not only improves the color and fills in any sparse areas, it also gives just a little bit of stiffness. So you don't necessarily have to follow this up with a brow gel, but I do use a brow gel. And which one is it? It is a very inexpensive one. Hold on. Okay, it is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Absolutely love this one. I guess I'll put it on again. This is not an empty, thank goodness. It's kind of nice that I don't have to buy that again for a while. But it totally keeps your brows in place, just like a really good hairspray. Absolutely love this NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Okay, this is my Lumify, and I go through this really rapidly. I wish they would come up with a really big bottle. There are two sizes, and this is amazingly enough, I think, no, this is the smaller size. This is the 0.25, and I think they may have a 0.75, but it is not much bigger than this at all. But what I do is that in the morning when I get up, and I call them my snake eyes, because over the years, everything ages on your body, unfortunately, including your eyes and the whites of your eyes, and I had gotten to where whenever I would look at myself, I would think, gosh, you've just got like red snake eyes. I always had very red eyes in terms of the whites of my eyes. So every morning before I put my contacts in, I get up. The first thing I do is put one drop of Lumify in each eye. Then I brush my teeth with my Sonicare toothbrush. And that gives three or four minutes to let that set. And then I put my contacts in. And I will tell you that one time I forgot and I put my contacts in and I thought, oh, I'll just go ahead and put the Lumify in there and it dissolved one of my contacts. At least it caused it to break and it just wasn't good. So please use this and wait three or four minutes before you put in your contacts. Okay, next I have some hair products. And as you can tell on my hair journey lately, I've really been working on getting body-fying products, body-fying products. And I have a wonderful drugstore brand and I, I really love these products. 
This is the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Hair Thickening Cream, and I have used this probably for the past three years. This is absolutely fabulous, and I just put a little bit between my palms. It's just a nice cream, and I bring it down through my damp hair, and then I blow dry. And also, this is a fabulous shampoo. And although I have been focusing on the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner lately, this, I think, if you want a drugstore type brand, I think this is right up there, if not just as good as the Kenra. And this is the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Conditioner. It is sulfate free and it says weightless volumizing. And I really do love this. And this is a great conditioner and there's a shampoo that goes with it. And I have used those for several years, the shampoo and the conditioner. And then here's an empty of my Kenra Volumizing Conditioner. It says conditioner for body and fullness. And I just repurchased this along with the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo. And I have been using this. And in fact, I will link a video below that I did that was about how I thicken my hair at my age. And these Kenra products are absolutely wonderful. A little bit pricey, but they're large bottles and they last a great long time. Okay, here is yet another Mark Anthony shampoo that I've been using. This is called the True Professional Strengthening Grow Long Shampoo. It says super fast strength, whatever that means. It says anti-breakage formula for longer, stronger hair adds shine with caffeine and ginseng. And it says free from sulfates and parabens. Anyway, this is yet another volumizing shampoo that I really do like. I've got this shampoo and the conditioner in my bathroom and I did repurchase these products. In fact, just this morning, my husband said, you know, he looked at the, the we have a little seat in the shower with all of these hair products and he's like, Beth, this is getting a little obsessive. So I really do need to clean all these out. But you know, every now and then you wanna grab for a different one. But all of my shampoos and conditioners lately have been volumizing. And if you want a drugstore price brand of volumizers, I think you can't go wrong with the Mark Anthony products. Okay, my last two empties are two hair masks, and I have used both of these really for two or three years. The first one I started with is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and this is a fabulous conditioner if your hair is like mine, which is over-processed, over-treated, and a little bit on the dry side. This is great to add that moisture back in, and I try to use it once a week. At the very least, I use it once every two weeks. I really do need to use it weekly. But this is what I started with, and I have purchased probably three or four of these. And then I discovered the nutrient-rich coconut oil hair mask from Oleology. And I actually got this from TJ Maxx. I don't know why, it just seemed like it would be a good conditioner. And I always like coconut scents. And so I use this. I think this is not the one I got at TJ Maxx. I think I purchased a smaller one there, really liked it. And then I reordered this one from Amazon. This does just what the macadamia oil conditioner does. Lately, I think I've been favoring this, but that may be just because you use a certain product for a while and then it starts to not work as well. And so then you switch products. And so maybe that's all this is because I think these two are extremely comparable products. Lately though, I've been liking this one a bit better. Okay, that was a look at my empties and I would love you to share your favorite products in the comment section below the video. I really want this channel to become more of a resource, you know, in terms of all of us helping each other. Because of course I have the products that I find and I love sharing them with you, but I know that you all have great products as well, makeup, skincare, whatever. And I would love to see those products listed in my comment section because then you're going to be giving me ideas and you're going to give each other ideas and that really just strengthens our community. And before I get into the thought for the day, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and in looking our best and feeling our best in our second half, then I hope you subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would just be wonderful. Okay, let's get into the thought for the day. And normally I read a little card to you, but today I kind of thought I would share an idea that I heard recently. And for those of you who aren't aware, you know, who really don't follow this part of the video, I have really been going through a spiritual transformation, I guess, lately. And within the year, in January of next year, I plan to retire. And so I've really done a lot of thought about what I want to focus on in my retirement. And one thing I want to focus on, of course, is my YouTube channel and making more and better videos for all of you. 
But the second thing I really want to focus on is getting happier and getting more spiritually attuned. And I have just heard something that I think is absolutely wonderful. And I think this was probably from Louise Hay, who I absolutely love. But what she says is, it is important that we love ourselves and that actually we use some meditation and go in and meet our inner child. And how you do that is you just shut your eyes and you start breathing kind of gently and following your breath for a little while. I like to go down steps. And then when I go down steps, I go to a chair and then I ask little Beth to come in and sit on my lap. Little Beth was a toe-headed little blonde girl and I just feel like I need to hug her and hold on to her and tell her that I love her. And I think it's really important for all of us to reacquaint ourselves with the inner child within us and share some love with our inner child. Because think of all the challenges we really all had growing up and how much we really need the love that we have from our own hearts to share with our younger self. So anyway, that was a little bit of a wordy thing. And Louise Hay suggested that it's important for all of us to love ourselves and to give that love to our little inner child and to do that on a regular basis. And then I was watching a YouTube channel of somebody else who was talking about the Louise Hay thought to do that. And he said, you know, I tried to figure out the best way to do that on a daily basis. And he said, I realized that when I'm sitting down to eat and I say my little prayer, that inside I just need to say, I love you, Beth. Come on, little Beth, sit on my lap. I love you and you're part of me. And I have been doing that for the last week or so. And I've also been doing my mirror work, as I told you before, where I look at myself in the mirror for five minutes and give myself very positive affirmations about myself. I love you. I love you, Beth. I really, really love you. You're beautiful. You're wonderful, et cetera, et cetera. So just for today, I hope you'll reach out to that little child inside of you and say, I love you. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.